It seems like the days of SeaWorld are numbered, at least here in California, because the California Coastal Commission did grant the approval for a hundred million renovation of the orca tanks at SeaWorld San Diego, but attached two provisions that are key in the fight of stopping the cruelty against orcas. Nick, they won't be able to breed any of the 11 orcas that they have in captivity right now, and they won't be able to move orcas in or out of the park. This is great news because officially it means that they won't be able to perpetuate the business of having orcas for spectacles. And it's, it's a very bright moment. Although SeaWorld said we're gonna look, all, we're gonna look into all of our options, mm -hmm. we don't agree with the ruling, and we're gonna see what we're able to do. I don't think there's a lot to do for them. They are going down. They're very close to going to bankruptcy. The profits are plunging really quick. Is the end for them, I think. Yeah, and we could attribute a lot of that definitely to Blackfish, the documentary mm -hmm. that came out. But you know what? This is, I think, huge for a lot of activists. I'm sure they're all very happy. But one thing that's really important is that while while SeaWorld's going to come out and pretend like, you know, well, we can defend ourselves because we give a lot of money to research and conservation, which they do. Yes, they do. But that doesn't compensate for what they do inside of their parks. And that's keep these orcas that are supposed to be in the wild swimming hundreds of miles a day, being able to dive as deep as they want, do what their body is telling them to do, they can't do it because they're in these little glass boxes and they literally start to go crazy and they start to act uh, very different from how they would in the nature because they're literally getting out of their minds, uh, biting each other, biting the glass because they, they're literally confined in this little box and that's not how they're supposed to be. Now, you made a really good point earlier when we were talking about this and you said, uh, aside from everything terrible that they do inside of their tanks, if you look at the bigger picture, what SeaWorld is doing is giving the wrong message to the next generation. Yes. People who, 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 are, who are just going to these parks, little kids like that who are, who are looking at the orcas and they're thinking, oh, this is the right way to observe an animal. This is the right way to get close uh, to nature is by exploiting them and keeping them in these little boxes and, and so that they go crazy and live you know, less than half of the life they're supposed to live because they live much longer in the wild. And I think this is, is a debate that has been for, you know, around for a long, long time. The zoos are included in, in this debate of, is it really the way that we want to experience nature? Do we need to capture nature and enclose it in a box for us to develop interest or develop knowledge around it? Here in California, in the same state that SeaWorld you know, became an empire of entertainment at a, at a time, here in the same place, there's many destinations where you can take a boat and mm -hmm. go watch the whales right. really close in their natural habitat. And I don't see SeaWorld saying, you know what, I think that you guys are right. We understand where, where you guys are coming from. We're going to shut down our ORCA program and mm -hmm. we're going to reshift those funds to research that happens on their natural habitat. But they're not because their profit, their bottom line, Ridiculous. comes out of all the kids that for many years, I was a big fan of SeaWorld growing up till I had the realization that it's wrong, that it's wrong to teach kids that they need to go to see a tank, to see a mammal that is huge and needs a completely different set of conditions to live. And that's why SeaWorld wanted to invest $100 million in expanding the orca habitat looking a lot more natural, but at the same, is a little bit of the same thing. You have these whales yeah. captive, but I think with the provisions that the Coastal Commission imposed, no more breeding and no more transportation in and out of whales, this is a determined, this is a good point for them not to be interested in the business of orcas moving forward, and finally we will see a change. Now, someone that has been looking for this change is Estivo. Estivo, the, the former Jackass. member from Jackass, yeah. he's been an outspoken critic of, of SeaWorld. He did the stunt in the highway where it says SeaWorld sucks on the, sea, on the highway sign. On the sign and yeah. just recently, he did this big stunt in a crane with fireworks. He got arrested, got 30 days uh, in jail, and he celebrated, and he said, you know what, I'm a jackass, I have a niche, I can go back to jail, though I'm a big and dog-saving guy now. Yeah. But I think he's one of the, the celebrities that have been the most outspoken and the most outrageous to show the importance of us not doing business with SeaWorld and not perpetuating this idea of, oh, let's look at the whales at the, sea, you know, the, at the, at the little box of glass that yeah, we can we see. We need them. the activists. They're there to speak up so. for people who don't know what's actually going on, and I think that's great. Meanwhile, SeaWorld is planting these undercover activists that are actually working for them. Remember right? that story we reported on? Yeah. Right. They, they, they hired some guy f to go and pretend to be part of PETA and get you know, himself in there, and then he was like, we should do more violent things and look really bad. Yeah. I mean, it's a corporation, you know, you guys know how I feel about corporations, but we want to know your opinion. Are you happy that SeaWorld maybe has its days counted here in California? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section, and if you haven't, please subscribe to the Lib TV.